Hey everyone, this is Phoenix Angel 888, and we're going to start a collective energy reading and see what we need to work on for this week. Um, as I was starting the reading, I heard a change in the wind. Um, I definitely could feel it. There has been a change in the wind. Um, mindset. Energies were... I reside at, it has been raining for like three days, two or three days, actually. Um, so it kind of got me up, up off balance because I can't do my morning routine 11, 11 when I said that, um, because I usually take my coffee and I go up, sit outside underneath the tree. But since it was raining, I really couldn't do that. So that kind of got me off balance. Today it is shining, as you can see from my window, it's all shining on me. Um, so it's sunny, was able to do my morning routine and just to relax for a little bit. I'm hearing take things as a grain of salt. Not sure really what that means. Um, I guess kind of go with the flow. Don't do anything crazy around this time. We are in Mercury retrograde. So the energies, plus being in Gemini season, um, brings out a lot of emotions and stuff like that. Um, my youngest daughter is a Gemini. So she's definitely kind of been going through it. But she's also at the age where... I can help her to balance and she understands what it means. Um, so, okay, let's go ahead and get started. Saying B deck four cards. Okay, so we're gonna start with that. I think a lot of us need to work on our heart chakras. Um, opening back up to love at this time. Um, love for ourselves, love for our children. If you're in a relationship or coming out of one or even being separated from your person, um, helping to heal will be able to bring you new love in as well. I lit a heart chakra incense so that's why one of the reasons why i've been working on mine as well so it's tough but we'll get there okay so four cards Ooh, already macrochasm has to do a lot with the crown chakra because of all this purple and the flower. Uh, so purple can be significant. I know I've been going through a phase where I wear nothing but purple. Um, definitely getting out of that. Three cards for the collective reading. We have journey here. Um, has a lot to do with the crown as well as the heart chakra with the purple and the green that's in here. So journey, you could be having a tower moment when it comes to the journey between you and somebody else. Whoa, too many cards. I'm gonna go ahead and take these. So we have connected and truth. Macrochasm, journey, connected, and truth. You could be finding out 
I'm hearing finding out some truth about a journey that you thought you were connected with. Okay, so there's a lot of throat chakra here with the blue in both of these connected and truth. Um, so you could be speaking your truth or somebody else could be speaking their truth um, about who you who your person is. Let's go ahead and read Macrochasm and see. Truth manifest. Oh, that's odd. It's in a really weird place. I don't think they have this alphabetical order. Macrochasm. Okay. The universe is not made up of atoms. It's made up of tiny stories. Joseph Gordon Levitt. It says, gaze up into the sky on a clear night and you will see a million stars, a million galaxies spanning farther than your imagination could ever take you. Consider the possibility that somewhere among this great expanse there is another person much like yourself looking out with the same questions, the same worries and the same wonders. It is important to always have perceptive perspective of your place in the cosmos. While things in your own reality may seem huge, realize that in this grand scheme, in the grand scheme of things, your worries are simply a drop in the ocean. Remember that on this journey, you are never alone. You will always be someone who has trotted this path. There, there will always be someone who has trotted this path before you. Keep an eye out for the markers along your journey. Those familiar things that help you to remember that despite how lonely the road may feel, Many have forged the same path ahead of you. Tomorrow the universe will awaken, will awaken anew. And with it, the promise of possibility for what is to come for you and for all. So perspective, depth, outlook portion. When I allow myself to look beyond the present, I am able to see the world with a new perspective. Crown Chakra. So definitely looking at the bigger person, bigger picture along the way um, in your journey and staying connected and owning your truth is what I'm getting from this. Um, we tend to overlook a lot of things, so we need to focus on the bigger picture. Um why are people in our life, you know, who they truly are? What can you do to help? We are sent here as helpers. Staying connected on the journey is going to bring you the truth that you need because going within is going to help. Okay. Okay. Soul's journey deck. They want two cards from here. What does the collective energy need to know? The collective energy. Collective energy. What do they need to know? We have for the collective energy. Forgiveness. I acknowledging that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So you could be working on your heart chakra and working on forgiving the people that have hurt you in the past and that have backstabbed you. Also forgiving yourself for allowing those people to. I'm getting that as well. We have for the collective energy reading. Collective energy reading. A lot of stubbornness at this time. Um, 
you may be at the doorway, one foot in, one foot out, trying to figure out which path to go. One more card for the collective energy reading. Okay, we'll just take this one. Uh, okay, they're telling me to take all four. Well, all three. So we have regrets. I know that I cannot change the past. Um, so right now, in particular situations, uh, you may be feeling in re having the feeling of regret. Um, feeling like you're not worthy of having someone or people in your life because they just run over you. Um, don't feel like that. You cannot change the past. You cannot, you can change the people who you have in your circle, but never regret the reason why you let them in in the first place. Everyone is here to teach people lessons as well as to learn. Oh, that just got on my deck. Let me move that back a little bit. For people to learn as well. So, don't regret the things that only made you stronger. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So some of you need to get out of the place of denial and regret. Um, or this could be your person. He's going through a time of where he is in denial and can't make a decision on which way to go and he's hoping I'm getting that the person is hoping that you'll forgive them because they are in regret and they are in denial for even putting you through the things that they put you through in the past I use my intuition in all aspects of life so right now with the heart chakra, you're going to be using your intuition on who you let in your life and who you need to take out. I'm hearing sometimes going with the flow is not always better. You have to act as well. Changing your daily routine so people will not be able to watch you. Let's change your daily change your daily routine so people <clears throat> and it seems like somebody doesn't want me to talk. Um, changing your daily routine so others won't watch you. So I feel like there is a watcher. Or a lot of people that are watching you at this time. Um, trying to see how you move. Which way to go. Uh, if you go down the same street. Every day for work or school or grocery store and stuff like that. Change it up. Um, it will help you to bring in change as well. Because if you go. If you do the same routine. And then you change it up. That's the universe. That's you letting the universe know that you're willing to change things up. You're willing to make a change. Um, if you put your socks on every day and you start with the right foot and then you go to the left foot. Try one morning. You put on your left sock first instead of your right. Um, simple things like that. So this is my new deck. This is the Heal Yourself reading cards. So let's go ahead and see. They want three cards from this. The four, four, which is crazy. So four, yeah, four, four. So somebody might be seeing synchronicities as far as numbers. Um, four, four, balance, stability. You know, there's four legs on a chair, four legs on a table. So 
So somebody, I feel like somebody wants to try to come in and bring balance, but they are in this regret and this denial stage and hoping that you would give them for give them forgiveness because they was in the indecision mode and not making a decision when it comes to the journey. But now they are getting connected and they are going to bring the truth to you. What does the collective energy need to know to help to heal? What does the collective energy need to know? All right, so we got two. So love. Love, which is the number 28. Somebody can be 28 years old at this point. I'm 28 years old. Uh, so that right there is a sign and a synchronicity for me. So love and whole in the soul. I'm feeling when it comes to this love opportunity or this love journey that you've been going on, it's left a hole in your soul. 36, the person could be 36, you could be 36. Um, and it really hasn't filled the hole that's in there. The love really hasn't filled it between the connection. Um, you see how this man, how this woman is looking away, but this man in the picture is looking directly at her. Um, so he could be watching you at this time. But then you're over here holding your heart and it's not fulfilling you. So you're going to find the truth that you need. Give me one second. I'm almost done. So you're going to find the truth that you need. Let's give me one more card. What else does this collective need to know? Sexual arts, 33 is coming up. So you and this person could have had very intense intimacy or sexual acts. Um... Don't let that intensiveness, intenseness get in the way of you being connected through your journey and your truth. Don't let it fall in that place. That person needs to come and they need to speak their truth and they have to open up. They have to heal their heart as well as you heal yours because right now it's putting a hole in your heart, a hole in your soul. And you're questioning, does this person really love me or is it just a fraud? Is he a fraud or is she a fraud? So protect yourself, protect your energy right now. If the person comes back, don't tell him everything. Let him speak or let her speak. sexuality oh which is the number four so we oh we have sexual arts and sexuality so somebody could be lying about their sexual sexual sexuality as far as when it comes to if they're straight if they're bi if they're gay Or you could be exploring your sexuality is what I just heard. Um, so you could be going in the opposite direction. If your person is a man, you could be going towards a female. If your person is a female, you could be going towards a man. Four, four, four. We just pulled four cards from each. Give me one second. Stay over there. Be quiet. 
Okay, so give me one second. I apologize. 